A lot of moms may be wondering what happens after that first hour when they give birth in the delivery room. And it can really vary from birth to birth. But in general, when the baby's born, uh, the OBGYN usually may clear the mouth and the nose and suction it out so the baby can breathe. Um, the cord is going to be clamped and either the um, OBGYN or maybe your partner will be able to cut the cord. And from the cord, actually blood is taken so we can get a blood uh, type of the baby as well too. As soon as possible, we really try to have baby be in contact with mom. So put the baby right on top of the uh, mommy's belly so they can have skin to skin contact right away. And sometimes though that's not possible because we really also have to make sure of the health and well-being of the baby. Sometimes the baby does get whisked away right to a warmer where the baby can be dried more, the temperature uh, can be taken, and if it needs even more suctioning, that can occur there too. APGAR scores are done for the baby at one minute and five minutes. And again, that may be the doctor or the nurse, and if the baby seems healthy, those APGAR scores can be done right on top of mom's belly as well too. What an APGAR score is, it's really just a picture of how your baby's doing right after birth. There's a score taken at one minute and another score taken at five minutes. And really we're looking at the baby's respiratory rate, uh, their heart rate, their color, their tone, and their reflexes. And you get a score anywhere from zero to 10. For most part, if your score is seven or above, that means you have a healthy baby who can then uh, stay in with mom for the whole time. So sometime within that first hour, the nurse will put bands and identification on the baby as well too. They'll take footprints. And really other things that are important that you may not know that happen is that baby gets eye ointment and it's basically to protect against bacterial infections that can cause blindness in babies. So that's really important. The eyes may look a little bit puffy, but that's nothing to be concerned about. In addition, the baby's going to get a shot of vitamin K and that's to make sure that there's no bleeding issues within the first few hours of life as well.